Okay, here we are. So now we are going to, um, I recommend having a cup of water. <laughs> this is reed water. Uh, there are special cups. Mostly uh, oboe and bassoon players use this, but you don't have to have a cup. You could use just a regular plastic cup. Um, put the reed underneath some water or uh, soak it in your mouth. So the reed should come in a plastic case that looks like this. This is actually a, a saxophone reed. The clarinet reed is more thin, like that. Soak it. Mm two minutes. <laughs> As you're putting your instrument together, you should be cloaking your reed in your mouth. I'm sure I should do that, but I don't have the ability to talk when I'm doing that. So, then we're going to slide the reed. Buh, 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 buh. This is called a ligature, the silver part. Ligature, ligature. The ligature moves up and down, and you tighten it with the screws forward. It's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, backwards. Lefty-loosey, sorry. That was confusing how I explained it. Now you're going to slide the reed underneath. A lot of students need assistance the first two weeks doing this, so parents might have to help with this. The reed should be lined, not up, not below, but right even at the top. And this is delicate, so it can break, and that's why sometimes I recommend getting a box of reeds, but we should learn the importance of taking care of our reeds. And we'll talk about that in lessons as well. So, once you have the reed where you want it, the ligature has to be lower. So if you try to tighten the reed with the ligature up here, it's choking the reed and it's not allowing it to vibrate. So you have to pull it down below that dark line, or we call it the smiley face part of the reed. There's a little heart shape kind of. And then we're gonna tighten the screws like so. Right, tight, tight. Do we tighten it to the point we're gonna break it? No, we're just gonna turn it till it stops moving and that's it. All right. Now we have these two parts to put together, and I don't know what kind of accent that is, I just started speaking with. Okay, so, I know I'm in kind of going quickly, so maybe you can rewind, fast forward, rewind. Uh, now we have the instrument together. When I put the mouthpiece on, I did not put it facing the holes in the front, I put it facing the one hole in the back. The reed should be facing the thumb hole. Why? Because when we go to play, we want to have our thumb behind, and then our first, second, or third finger being able to wrap around the front. Our thumb is going to rest underneath the thumb rest. Thumb rest is here. This thing sticking out. Thumb rest. Okay? And we might have some foam cushiony thingies to give you to help you if you have a sore thumb when you're playing, but get used to it. And you develop a callus. Just like violin, you have to develop callus. Uh, we're going to just, uh, it, it'll be good. Okay. So I guess I'll create some sounds for you. And when you put the instrument in your mouth, make sure you're not swallowing it all the way down here, just halfway into your mouth. Place it on your top lip. All right, bottom lip should cover the teeth. Uh, and then your top teeth do have a grip on the mouthpiece, like so. And then close before you try to create sound. If you try to, sorry, my hand. If you try to blow into the clarinet and swallow the mouthpiece, you're going to get a squeak. Uh, squeaks are cute, but they're not the sound we're looking for on the clarinet. So you want to put more of like a even pressure all the way around. Bottom lip flat, top teeth here, close, and then you can try an open note first. Open means no fingers. Sorry, this table kind of in the way. Um, <laughs> So open is considered no, 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 nothing. And then thumb and first finger would be our first note E. Thumb, first finger, second finger, D. Thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, C. E, D, C. I hope I said that correctly. I was slightly distracted looking at that smiley face behind me. Okay, so here's E, D, C. And always use straight posture. And we don't slouch when we play. Okay, so there's your clarinet.
They also call it the licorice stick because it looks like black licorice. Random fact of the day. Fun fact. Okay. Enjoy your Sunday, and I'll be back with more uploads when I have more time. Thank you, and I look forward to meeting you in person very soon. And be patient as we roll out the lesson schedule. Any questions, please feel free to contact me. But understand that I'm probably only checking email once in the morning, once in the evening. And I'm still backlogged from one day ago. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Bye!